Well, Louisiana's rice industry brings in more than a half billion dollars to the state's economy each year. That's why rice growers are testing out some new ways to protect their investments. As This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us, LSU Ag Center Research is getting some real-world tests. When Kenneth Lahe is getting started with planting, he knows he has to protect the rice seed he's putting into the ground. And that means using That's it. the right tool for the job. In this case, the job is to protect his rice plants from the larvae of the rice water weevil. We'll be getting the data here. That's where Dr. Natalie Hummel from the LSU Ag Center comes in. For the last three years, she and other researchers at the Rice Research Station in Crowley have been finding ways to control this little bug in very controlled test plots. The rice water weevil is a pest that is an early season pest and it prunes the roots of the plants and so when that root pruning occurs it's really damage that you can't recover from at the plant level. So the seed treatments provide a really superior level of control by killing the larvae when they start to feed on the roots so that they can't cause the damage. This fight began a long time ago when Furidan was taken off the market. Then I switched back to Cruiser and that's everything else has Cruiser in it. Now Lahe is giving Hummel's research a real world test. We now have two different seed treatments that are available for rice water weevil management. And this is really the only way that we can go out into a, into a real life situation and confirm that these products are actually performing the way that they have in small plot evaluations. With these products, we are hoping that the seed treatment will last quite a while into the season, allow us to delay the flooding of the field and delay rice water weevils coming into that field, but when they do come, to give us some protection from them. I'm gonna make three passes at the top, and I should be empty. Lahe admits it's a little more work for him to help Hummel. I think it's a small price to pay for what we're getting from LSU. The best part about it is it allows them to see the new research developments that we have, the new products that are on the market, and also new techniques to possibly use these to cut down expenses and maybe to help them produce a better crop as well as a less expensive crop making their bottom line a whole lot better than what it is now. It's the true meaning of the extension service, which is to extend research into farming situations where, where it's happening in the real world. And what Hummel hopes to find, with the help of funding from the Louisiana Rice Research Board, are effective treatments that will keep rice fields from looking like this. So we're looking at Cruiser Max, which is a new neonicotinoid seed treatment, which controls rice water weevil larvae and also Calaspis and chinch bugs. We're looking at the Dermacore X100 that we've been actually working with for, this will be our third year in the field now, but the first year with a full Section 3 label. In the past it had a special registration for Louisiana. Hummel is also hoping these treatments will keep another pest in check. The grape yeah. calaspis is a relatively new yeah, threat really to Louisiana to rice fields. I have a feeling I'll learn more about grape calaspis than I ever wanted to know before too long. Research in Arkansas has shown that the Cruiser Max provides really good control for calaspis, but Dermacore is more a suppression. It probably provides about 40 percent control. Hummel expects to continue working on this project for another two years to make sure Lahe and his family can continue to grow rice for a lifetime. In Evangeline Parish, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Now, if you'd like to find out more about the research Dr. Natalie Hummel is involved in on an hour-by-hour -hour basis, you can visit her blog. You can click on over to our website, twilatv.org, and click on the Heard It on Twyla links.